This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a fast dynamic intro animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Let's set the width and height to 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long duration. Click OK. Then create another new composition. This is going to be our media placeholder. So I'm going to call this media underscore zero one. Here we can drag and drop in any image or a video, whatever that we want. I'm going to use the image that I have here. Let's scale this down like so. All right, that is fine. Then let's go back to our main render comp, drag and drop in the media composition, then right click and create a new adjustment layer. Let's call this wave and let's zoom in a bit into the timeline. Let's go to around one second. That should be fine. Hold Alt and right square bracket to crop the layer or cut the layer. Then go into effects and presets and search for an effect called optics compensation. Double click to apply that. And then I'm going to add an effect called turbulent displays. Double click to apply that as well. Now let's move the time indicator at the very start and increase the field of view to 120. Let's click on reverse lens distortion, create a keyframe on field of view, go to one second and let's set this back to zero. So we have something like this, which looks pretty interesting. Let's go at the very start again and uh, create a keyframe on the amount of the turbulent displays. Let's hit U so we can see all our keyframes, go to one second and let's set this to zero. So now if I preview this, we have this really interesting look, as you can see, it adds a sense of movement to our complete image, which looks pretty cool. Then select all the keyframes, press F9 to ease, ease the keyframes, go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph, select this point and drag the handle holding shift to the left like so. So now we have something like this. I think it's a bit too fast. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit and let's move this handle all the way to the left. So yeah, that looks much better. So now let's add some nice text to this. So select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want. I'm going to type in dynamic. Let's align this into the center. For the font, I'm using the Monumental Extended. I'll mention the link in the description to download this font. Then click right here, go into Animate and add a property of position and then click on Add, add a property of opacity. Let's set the position to somewhere around 100 and opacity down to zero. Go into the range selector one. Let's make some room right over here. And I'll go at the very start and create a keyframe on the offset. So, so I'm going to click right here, go 10 frames forward in time and let's set this to 100. And then go into the advanced properties and I'm going to set the ease high to minus 100, I bet, I guess. So yeah, that is a really nice text animation as you can see. And then let's go at around one second and let's duplicate this so this is the animator one press ctrl d to duplicate it so now we have animated two and let's go right here let's move this keyframes at one second and set the offset to minus 100 and go right here and set this to zero so we have an out animation like so which looks pretty cool i think so now we have an in animation and then we have an out animation. 
all right and then select the text layer press s to bring down the scale property create a keyframe set this to around 130 go to one second and set this to 100 and then go to one second and 10 frames and set this to around 50. then i'll select these keyframes and press f9 to ease, ease them go into the graph and what i'm going to do is adjust this a little bit like so and this one right like so so now when we preview this we have this really interesting animation now before we move to the next step let's quickly take a look at our today's sponsor envato elements download unlimited after effects templates logo reveals background music sound effects fonts stock footages templates mockups and more visit the first link in the description and download anything for free for seven days with that said, I also want to tell you guys about Envato Tute Plus YouTube channel. Everything here is entirely free of charge. You can find full courses on topics ranging from Photoshop and in design to After Effects and Premiere Pro, all the way to package designing. The channel gets updated with new content frequently, so make sure to keep checking in to see if there's something new and interesting for you to learn. To know more about them, check the link in the description below. And then let's also animate our media. So go into effects and presets and search for an effect called motion tile, double click to apply that. Let's increase the output width and output height to 200 and click on mirrored edges. Let's go right here, hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe, go to around 10 frames, one second, 10 frames and set this to 50. So we have something like this, then I can select the keyframes again, press F9 to ease, ease them and go into the graph. Let's drag the handle to the left, to the right, I mean. So we have something like this and then I'll go to one second and 10 frames, select the text and the media composition, holding control and then hold Alt and right square bracket to crop them up. So this is our first animation, as you can see looks pretty nice i think i can select this hit u i'm going to select the keyframes again go into the graph and let's tweak some settings here so i'll move this one to like so yeah that is the movement that i want now it's very easy to duplicate so all i have to do is select everything we can change the color if we want so let's say set this to red press ctrl d to duplicate it move this on the top and let's move this like so boom there we have the second one so i'll just select these three layers and change the colors and let's type in a different text so maybe something like i don't know modern and also change the image so now we have media one right here so what i'm going to do is go into the project panel select the media one and press control D duplicate it and hold alt and drag and drop it on the media one. So it's going to replace it with media two. And then I can jump into the media two and change the image. So let's select this one, scale this down and adjust it. So I think this looks pretty cool and boom. So now we have this very interesting animation as you can see and the best part about this technique is you can stack up as many different uh, you can basically you know copy this three layers and create as many slides with this so i'm gonna create one more press ctrl d move this on the top let's change the color to blue this time let's move it right here and this time i'm gonna duplicate the media again press ctrl d and I replace this with media three let's rename this text to something like fresh all right and let's change the image let's scale this down a little bit let's let's actually move this right here and if i go back so now we have this really cool animation and finally for the final logo reveal i'm going to duplicate this one more time so press ctrl d and let's set this to maybe I don't know, aqua move this right here 
let's duplicate the media 3 again replace that replace this with media 4 and this time i'm going to actually call this logo and then we don't need any text so i can hide that i can jump into the logo composition and add my logo here all right make make it small and let's replace the image with my own image that i have so i'm going to use this one let's go to effects and presets and search for a tint effect i want to use this as a black and white image and let's bring down the opacity so press t and let's bring this down by the way i have just launched a complete after effects course on my website dope.motion so i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out and then i'll select the text tool and let's type in the motions let's animate this as well let's make this smaller i'm gonna place this or align this into the center like so all right and let's quickly animate this so let's go to 10 frames select the text hit t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe set this to zero and move that at the very start and let's increase the opacity to 100 now we have something like this and then hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe hit u so we can see them go back and move this down like so. so we have something like this pretty simple select it press f9 to easy ease them go into the graph and let's make this a bit more smoother so we have something like this i think it's a bit too fast so we can actually increase the timing so yeah that looks much better i think all right so now if i go back boom there we have this really interesting look and this time i'm going to actually remove the animation of motion tile from this one and hit u because i don't want any scale animation as this is our final slide let's increase the duration of this to around maybe seven seconds so let's preview our complete animation and boom it's looking pretty nice and very simple to create so you can actually stack up various different effects on this for example the wave one we have added uh, you know an interesting wave on this but if you want you can play around with the turbulence complexity and stuff you know create some really intense effects like so look it will look cool i think pretty nice so yep, that is how you can create a fast dynamic intro animation inside of After Effects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like the video and do let me know in the comment section below if you have taken up my course on After Effects which is available on my channel dopemotions.com. All the links are in the description below. If you want, you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out